Good day everyone. Today, we have the 2022 Toyota GR Yaris and this is going to be a full in-depth tour review of the GR Yaris. I'm currently here in Toyota Pampanga. For more details, see the description box below. Once again, if this is Patrick Reyes TV, let's go and have a tour. Now with the key fob, beside the vehicle you can lock and unlock the doors just by this door handle. So to lock it, just touch this lines right here. And to unlock, just wait a second and put your hand behind the handle and it automatically unlocks. You have your Alcantara finish on the door sidings and your leather materials on the seats, your manual recliner, or sorry, your height adjustment, your recliner, and your seat position adjustment on the middle. As you can see, these are bucket seats with your GR logo on the headrest. So with the key fob inside the vehicle, you can start the accessories just by pressing this button. And once more for ignition. And to start the engine, just put your left foot on the clutch, your right foot on the brakes, and push the button to start. Before we go and check out the interior, let's go and check out the exterior first by opening up the windows of course, turning on the headlights, you have auto mode as well, fog lights and rear fog lights, and the hazards. Now both windows are electrically powered and both are automatic up and down. Probably one of the most anticipated vehicles in today's market is none other than the Toyota Yaris GR. It's Toyota's compact racing machine with the most powerful three-cylinder engine produced to this day. Now unlike the VS GR, the Yaris GR is not just your body kit upgrade or aesthetic upgrade. They really step up their game with performance. It has better suspension, GR big brake system, Michelin tires, all-wheel drive system, and a powerful yet efficient engine paired with a 6-speed manual transmission with IMT. The looks on the outside, however, is still similar to the Yaris we all know. Front fascia is aggressive but curves its body to the rear for aerodynamics. The Yaris GR also has a wider body for stability and space for wider rims. These mini monsters can actually run 0 to 100 in around 5 seconds, which is incredibly good for a 3-cylinder. Overall, the Yaris Gazoo Racing is a must-have for people who enjoy the subcompact supercars. It is very well prepared for track and can also be a daily car for its efficiency. You get the best of both worlds. Let's go and pop the hood. As I have said earlier, the GR Yaris is the most powerful production 3-cylinder engine to date. The engine is known as the G16E GTS. It is a 1.6-liter 3-cylinder dual overhead cam turbocharged engine which produces 257 horsepower at 6,500 rpm and 360 newton meters of torque at 3,000 to 4,000 rpm. It is paired with a 6-speed manual transmission with intelligent manual transmission feature. And what it does is it automatically adjusts engine RPMs when changing gears to ensure smoother gear shifting especially on the track. The GR Yaris also comes standard in all-wheel drive system. Mixed fuel consumption rating is at 11.2 km per liter. Now on the inside, you are greeted with the three-spoke steering wheel. It is covered in leather with your white stitchings around it. Also have side extensions for better grip. 
Now on the left side of the steering wheel, you have your controls for the gauge, as you can see. So you have your uh, cruise control distance, and of course your trip distance as well, and a bunch of settings, very similar to the modern Toyota gauges. And of course you have your tire pressure monitoring system, your all-wheel drive system, and of course your turbo. Now right over here is your volume controls, voice command, and your phone. Here is your cruise controls. This one on the bottom is for the controls for the head unit. So let's go check that out. So the head unit you have here is a digital display. It's quite small, but works great, I believe. Let's try getting some signal. Sounds very nice. And as you can see, you have your tweeter speakers right on the A pillars, which is very nice. You get your surround sound system. Now, other features are, of course, you have Bluetooth. You can play music wirelessly via Bluetooth. Just connect your phone. And of course, you could also dial them, call your contacts. You have iPad connectivity via the USB input right here. Let's open that up. You have your iPad connectivity so you can connect uh, your iPhones via the USB input, USB, and browser. So again, you could go to different websites if you care to go on different websites inside your car. And that's about it on the head unit. You got a nice GR logo right over there. You can see the apps. So you could actually cycle them through here without going through the menu button. Very nice. Now right over here you have your pocket for probably your cell phone. Air conditioning vents right here on the middle. So you have your dual zone climate control. Temperature on the passenger side. Temperature on the driver side could be set up differently if you want to. So this one's set to 21 degrees and 17.5 for the driver. It has auto mode as well. 12 volts power outlet. And of course... Your different modes for driving you got sport mode and track mode and once you press this it goes to normal so as you can see the gauge actually goes red when you go into sport mode same on the track mode you have your six speed manual transmission six gear and to reverse just pull this up and all the way to the left there goes your reverse you have your handbrake so right here you have traction control your IMT or intelligent manual transmission for smoother downshifts and the third one is the automatic start stop feature and you have your GR logo right over here developed for FIA World Rally Championship. Two cup holders right over here. One pocket in here as well. Typical of Toyota, lots of spaces. You have a small pocket in here as well. And there is your glove compartment. You have your auto dimming rear view mirror, which is nice. Side mirrors are auto-retractable as well. You have your automatic headlight control and your beam adjuster or headlight leveler. So you can adjust your headlight beam to lower it down or uh, 
give it a beam on a higher state. Now here, you have your steering wheel control or your steering wheel adjustment. So it is both telescopic and up and down, which is nice. So here you get a better view of the seat. You have your GR logo on the headrest, silver uh, accents, and you have your soft Alcantara finish, leather materials on the side with your white stitching. Okay, now by the way, this one has all black uh, materials on the inside, the seats, the dashboard, the ceiling, even the sun visors are all black to give you that sporty look. Now on the back seat, you get small space for probably young adults or teenagers for the back. It's not suggested for uh, full-sized adults. As you know, this car is actually still a two-seater but again, they put seats on the back just for convenience if you need to use those seats. But again, most likely this will be just your cargo space or your stuff to put in on the back. And also on the back, you have your speakers, both on each side, I believe. As you can see. So, let's go and check out the cargo area. Electronic switch. Have your new cover. And your battery is right over here. And the seats are also foldable, as you can see. Just uh, push this tab and it goes down just like that. Just in case you don't need passengers and you just need space for the back. Again, those seats could go all the way down if you just uh, push the seats on the front forward. So I hope you enjoyed the full tour review of the 2022 Toyota Yaris GR. There's a lot more to come so please do subscribe, share and like my videos. This is Patrick Reyes TV. Signing out and stay safe.